Good morning, all. I'm Oshin Morgan, and this is Scott McInerney, and today we're going to briefly outline some ideas about how actuaries can embrace artificial intelligence in the future. So what is artificial intelligence? A quick Google search defines artificial intelligence as the development of computer systems that are able to form tasks usually requiring human intelligence. Now, while this may seem threatening to actuaries, whose job mainly involves numbers and uh, calculations, which can already be done quicker than computers, this does not have to be the case. As we can see from the graph, the revenues from the worldwide market of artificial intelligence has been growing significantly and will continue to grow at an exponential rate. So, it can be seen as a platform or a problem for actuaries of the future. While doing research for this project, we came across many articles saying that artificial intelligence could replace actuaries. We don't believe that. We believe that instead it could be a catalyst for a change in the role of an actuary. We will look at some of these in more detail now. So the first area we look at is trading. On this chart at the top is a stock chart, and on the bottom is a technical indicator called the relative strength index. This is just a measure of how overbought or how oversold the stock is between zero and 100. So nowadays, algorithmic trading is commonplace. This is where a human designs an algorithm to buy stocks according to certain conditions. So an example of this could be an algorithm designed to buy the S&P index when the RSI drops below 40 and to sell when the RSI moves above 60. We believe that artificial intelligence will be able to spot more profitable patterns than the one I have mentioned. It will offer more flexibility, and obviously these machines have greater visual perception to spot these patterns. These machines will need to be regulated to avoid the normal retail trader being exploited. We believe that actuaries will be well suited to that role. They are known to have prudent judgment and are known to be trustworthy. These machines will still be prone to errors, so we think that actuaries, because of their knowledge of the markets and their knowledge of computer programming, would be suited to fix these errors as and when they occur. Sports is all about winning and losing, which ultimately means it all comes down to numbers. While actuaries of the past and present could regularly be found calculating odds in sports betting companies, it seems inevitable that in the future artificial intelligence may be able to do this more efficiently. This does not, however, mean the end of actuaries in sports betting, merely a change in their role. One way in which actuaries can join together with artificial intelligence is through the development of algorithms, which would be able to help AI uh, calculate these odds. Also, the odds must be interpreted in order to uh, ensure that uh, the betting companies are profitable yet still competitive. Finally, there are also um, intangibles in sport, such as an injury to a star player, which may have a negative psychological impact on the team. It's hard to assign a numerical value to this, and so it may be missed by AI calculations. So this is where an actuary may need to step in and correct the prices. Car insurance is an, is an industry where we've already seen massive growth in AI. We've, we can already see cars that can park and steer themselves, albeit with the need that the driver is able to take over at any moment should they require. Um, but in the future, it's likely that we're going to see cars that can completely drive themselves. This means that there will be a massive change in the role of an actuary in the future uh, when calculating risk and insurance premiums. One of the major areas where there will be changes is in risk profiling. So you can see the quote here from the Volvo CEO. He says that Volvo will accept full liability whenever the cars are in autonomous mode. This could lead to drastic changes in the calculation of premiums. Premiums will no longer be calculated based on a driver's age or claims history. They will instead be calculated based on the technology behind the vehicle itself. This will definitely change the day-to-day -day working of an actuary who's calculating premiums because it's just a totally different concept to measure the risk of a car as opposed to a person. That's all we have for today. Thank you for your attention.